the clear version of the boxer. Now, this is clearly going to be something that you're going to want to look at. It's over. I have the high ground. The Radio Master Boxer has been the most popular radio on the market for almost a year now. And that's because it has full size gimbal, full size module bay in the back. It can carry quite a large size battery. And on top of that, it has a monochromatic screen, which at first glance seems like a downgrade, but you don't look at the screen when you're operating an RC aircraft that extends your battery life to last way, way longer. It does cost $20 more, but what you get for that $20 is this limited edition clear shell case. And you also get a free LED upgrade kit that you can slap in here and give it a glow. Now, my boxer that I've been using has the AG01 CNC machined metal upgraded gimbals inside, and this one comes with the defaults. Now, the defaults are actually very good. The 2022, 2023 version with the four-way adjustable are exceptionally smooth and they're hall sensors. So the AG01 CNC metal ones are an upgrade, but they're not a must have on day one. If your budget only allows you to spend $140 for the regular one or $160 for the limited edition clear case, you're gonna be just fine with either one of those choices for a year or more on the stock gimbals. But since I got the budget, I'm gonna go ahead and slap in some blueies on here we're gonna have the white lights with the blue gimbals it's gonna be looking like obi-wan's lightsaber that's right hello there hello there so if you already have the regular radio, this is not a must have. But then again, I remember not so long ago, a good radio cost $250, $350. Now you can easily still spend that on a custom TX-16S like I have back there and it's beautiful and I love it. But when you gotta travel, having something that's smaller, that a battery lasts longer, but you still have the same hand grip is really a nice function. Now, if you want full details on the Boxer, go check out my full review of the original release. This only comes in express lrs version but in 2023 that's really the only built-in module that you want i am going to be slapping my ghost module on the back here but look how cool these clear components are They're like a sort of a frosted glow uh similar to the same thing that i have on the window that for some reason is right over my bathtub now my wife gets really upset that people are going to be looking at her taking a bath and i'm like if anyone happened to like creep into our backyard to be able to see through that frosted glass i don't think them seeing a generic shape to that window is really going to be our biggest concern. Now, I've been itching for a little bit of an upgrade for a while and it's kind of nice that i can upgrade for just as cheap radio master pretty much has you covered at almost any budget level you can get the, the cx12 for just under 100 bucks the zorro for just over 100 bucks the boxer for 140 or 160 bucks the tx16s starting at about 200 bucks and if you want full custom metal faceplate version you can go all the way up to about 600 bucks the nice thing is about this is it's the cheapest price that you can get long battery life full gimbals full size module bear support those are the three main options that you're going to want to take note of on a radio now some people may not like the reduced number of switches i still don't love these buttons they have sort of a squishy unsatisfying feeling to them I don't use them for anything. I don't recommend that you use them to arm your quad or anything of important. Maybe you could assign like an LED button on there or a beeper on there, but uh, I personally don't like them. I only use three switches and I like, I've always used the front switches. So this is totally fine with me. I know Lamon like dremeled this out to move a switch back here because he's used to using a back switch. I don't really do that though. So what are you guys going to do? Are you looking to upgrade your radio or buy a new radio? This is the clear winner for me for 2023 radio master just keeps killing it they sponsored the costa rica race that was featured in that min chan short film on the channel here go check that out if you haven't seen it before they sponsored pretty much every major race from here till then so it's really nice to be able to support the companies that are supporting us and it makes it so much simpler that when a new pilot comes on wanting to try their hand at fpv 
We can unilaterally tell them across the board, Radio Master is the safe choice. Just buy the best one that your budget allows. This is really a sweet spot. Back before Radio Master came about, to get something on this level, you easily had to spend $300 or more, and it's crazy that you could spend less than half of that. Once you do add the AGO one gimbals, that adds $140, so that puts you right at $300. I also do recommend that you get the large LiPo. This 6,200 milliamp hour, the new big one from Radio Master, it's 30 bucks, but goodness, it is worth it. I actually left my radio on all night long after a long session of simming. When I woke up the next morning, it was giving the inactivity alarm and it was only at seven and a half volts. Left it on for about 10 hours and it was still going crazy. The only thing I really wish I knew is how do you turn off the LEDs um, with its in use. A lot of times, especially at the night spot in summer, there's a ton of mosquitoes and other bugs and having bright lights on your radio will just attract them to get to get a million mosquito bites on your fingers while you're trying to fly. Nothing is really unnerving more than having your fingers bitten by a giant amount of bugs. Being able to fly while being bitten by like 30 bugs at once is one of the rites of passage into becoming a true FPV pilot. How many bugs can you withstand without crashing? I can take quite a few, but this is really going to up the game. But maybe I'll train like this. Train with full bugs. It looks kind of like Johnny Five, doesn't it? Now I started asking myself, man, I really wish it came in cornflower blue. And bam, there it is. AGO one blue gimbals, that's an option of course. Now for those of you that don't wanna buy a whole new radio, yes, I bought this radio and the gimbals just so I could swap it over because I'm too lazy to change face plates, but you can buy a blank face plate just like this right now. This black version is only five bucks. Leave in the comments what radio you're using for 2023. I'm really curious. Are you still loving the TX16S? I still think that's one of the best radios of all time. And if you have one, there's no need to get something smaller. I've been traveling for a lot more events. The nice thing about the Boxster though is that your hand grip stays almost the same. It's the same side to side. It's the same gimbals that are going to be in there and it's pretty close to the same reach to your switches at the top. The only main difference is that your grip front to back on the Boxer is a little bit shallower. So that's a difference. I actually like the grip style on the Boxer a little bit better. I do wish that they had some leather on here. I want leather. It could be synthetic leather. I mean, my Tesla doesn't have real leather. It's got vegan leather. It's funny how they call it vegan leather these days. Back in the day when I was growing up, you would get made fun of if you showed up to school with a pleather jacket. Now it's all the rage, but you don't call it pleather anymore. You call it vegan leather. I'm okay with some pleather hand grips. Give them to me, Radio Master. Give them to me. I'm looking for something that says Dad likes leather. Something that says leather daddy. Oh, is there such a thing? Hopefully Radio Master will sell the clear shell pretty soon and you can scoop one of these up for only five or 10 bucks most likely. It's crazy that this is so cheap. Who knows, maybe I'll paint this and just wear it as a Halloween mask. Look at that, pretty cool, huh? So go ahead and get yourself a shell just to play with, decorate. Hopefully you won't mess up the one that's on your radio. Maybe you can put it underneath your pillow and hope that the Radio Master Fairy will leave you one of these bad boys.